Hello everybody, this is the Gap Place Games, and welcome back to Cross Out Let's Build. Today we're going to build a uh, Advanced Fury pickup build for a rather high power score. And in my case, I am going to arm it with a Reaper and a Sidekick drone. Although, a, I suggest actually using twin or triple repairs or twin ruins as bu uh, cannons, so it's a little bit of a range build. You can see I started out with some pretty long parts, but although I actually kind of flip these ones like so, and come with two by fours right here. So then I can put a, a gas generator underneath. In the other case, this is not necessary, but I am still gonna do it because I do need these the ammo packs. Those are for the Reaper because the Reaper does use ammo. And for cool, you got a large module space in the rear. I gotta mount a size kick drone rear like this, and then put two coolers right next to it. And then I'm gonna start using first a pair of truck doors in the side. Like so, so the sides are protected, and then start placing wheels. First off, rear wheel, and move it forward, like so. For fenders, we kind of start out by placing one here, and here, and then a pair in the front. That's all we need. Then, get yourself another truck door place in the front. There's gonna be a little gap part here, but that's okay. Next up is to fill this rear part right here. I'm gonna use a pair of rear doors for that. And then make it kind of decent looking by getting some slopes right here. That's good. Then I am gonna add a catch bumper place like so, only if you to connect everything up, and that is good. For weapon placements, eyes for repairs, you can go with taking one right here, and then a second one right here, and a third one right here, that works, or right here if needed. For uh, whirlwinds, I, wanna, I suggest placing one right here, behind a large fender, place that one like so, and then second one up top, but can get it to fit, and then put the second four went up here, so they can shoot over each other. And for the reaper, I'm just gonna put it right here. It's good enough. Again, I still got the psychic drone working fine. Then I'm gonna put a quarter wall right here and right here. I actually gotta rotate it like this because I like the looks better. Put a little edge right there. Since we got more than enough parts to, to go for, I'm gonna add a pair of quarter walls right here. And then a pair of slopes right here. In my case I am gonna use some armor some of these parts. Oh no, actually, no, I'm gonna use these parts here. And I'm gonna replace those with the armored slopes. You can do anything what you want with this, but I like it to kind of slope downwards. So I'm gonna stick it with this. And. That's already pretty much it. I'm gonna add some rear armor. Simple canvas roof is enough. And here we go with a uh, just under 6,000 power score. With the gun 4,000 power score. If you go for the triple repair, it's actually just 12. With this 12 energy for that, you're gonna need to replace this one. And you can just fill up this with armor. That's no problem. But for that, you're gonna have 12. That's actually 12 energy. So we're gonna only have one of these. So I'm gonna 
to count it like this, 3100. And for triple repair, you're gonna have just over 2000, so you're gonna stick to 5.2, 5.3, somewhere around that. For twin um, whirlwinds, we're gonna end up with, let's see, oh, just over around the same, just a little bit higher for twin whirlwinds gonna have 10 energy so then you can actually add the three weapon coolers again so then you're gonna be a little bit higher my guess we are gonna end up around five to six thousand with the most weapon loadouts you can with this build you can pretty much mount charge vectors defenders uh, you can use mount goblins probably sledgehammer spitfire repair you can mount Twin Judge, Twin Little Boy, Twin Adventure, those are possible. 80 Wasps, you've got the big room in the back, so if you want you can actually just remove these and go for a Wasp setup in the rear. Oh, so you remove these ones as well and lower this frame like so. Gotta, actually, no. Then you're gonna need this part. And add like that. Instead, so yeah, you can put wasp in there, in the rear. Angers, basalts, and spears are not; those are not really advised, of course, because this thing is not is a weapon carrier more than a melee build. Coxes will work fine. Same with spectre and equalizer. Thunderbolts can be placed in the rear as well. Spikes are pretty huge but they will work just as well although I doubt anybody will have these they're rather expensive executioners work fine fat pants too impulse you can put a glare in the toe in the rear as well if you want to crickets are kind of big and I do not really advise using those pyrus can pound it in the rear as well thrust by Lancelot not really advised again Reaper works fine. Amaral too. Tsunami. Oh, if you got, if I would love to see a twi uh, twin tsunami mounted on here, you probably have to mount it sideways, or you or you have to raise up the this part right here, so you can mount one in the front and the rear. But oh boy, I want those tsunami so bad. So that's right. I am actually working, trying to get myself a promo account just like one like fly daily has or something like that so i can show you guys builds like that and if in this let build series can build anything for you because now i am still limited to the parts i have i mean this guy uh, that i'm doing this for uh, x for triple repair but i only have one of them so and i only have this one because i cannot sell it because i it's customized if it wasn't customized i would probably would have sold both the customization pack and the gun so then I will still would not have to part that part either. Anyway, continuing that. Back to the weapons. Mandrake not advised. Same with the mammoth, they're simply too big. Reaper, yeah, you get one of them. Watcher, you can get one of or two of them at most. Hurricanes aren't gonna be too big as well to fit on this thing. You can mount one in the rear maybe, but uh, kind of big. Officers not advised. Porcupines not either. Firebug and Scorpion, however, both are fine. And actually, I just realized Firebug is only four energy points, so you can actually mount three of them on a single build. Okay, for modules, uh, engines can be mounted in the rear, where there's plenty of space. Ammo packs can be placed in the rear. You can go for third deployers of drones as well. Chameleons are rather cheap now for just one energy point, so you can get yourself into visibility. Or just use radiators or coolers as well. All works fine. Fuel tank. It's gonna be hard to put a fuel tank on here, but you can simply do... Uh, grab one medium strut, place like this, and then just stick it on the back. Works. Fine. 
you don't really have to worry about it because if it, if it gets shot then you can explode and get the just a little bit of real damage but it's not it's not really that much of an issue so anyway that's about it I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye